hello let's go straight to the point so welcome to my channel we are asked to solve for the value of x in this particular question the first thing we need to do is to change this to the same base as this okay so this is base 2 and we can get base 2 here this is same thing as 2 to the power of 3 raised to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x is equal to 130 all right now i want us to recall this law of exponent the law of exponent that states that 2 to the power of m raised to the power of n sorry a to the power of m it must not be 2 a to the power of m raised to the power of n is equal to a to the power of mn also when you have something like this you can write it as a to the power of n raised to the power of m so you can interchange the position of the powers so that means that we can do that here all right so we can write this as 2 to the power of x raised to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of x is equal to 130 now another thing we need to do is look at this and look at this we have the same thing so we can actually simplify the equation by saying let 2 to the power of x be equal to y okay so if we do that we can write sorry we can write that y to the power of 3 plus y is equal to 130. Okay, now, the next thing we should do is, I know some of you will be like, oh, it is easy. We have gotten a polynomial. We should just factorize no. Because note that we are not looking for the value of y. We are looking for the value of x. We are just going to use y to get to our x. And it's a different ball game. Okay, so I would advise to watch to the end and see how this plays out. Okay, now let's continue. Now, y to the power of 3 plus y is equal to 130. We can express 130 as what? We can express 130 as 125 plus 5. Yes, I needed 125. That is what will I raise to the power of 3 and add the same thing to get 130. Okay, so that I can bring the powers together. Okay, that is why I chose 1 to 5 plus 5. Okay, so we have y to the power of 3 plus y is equal to 5 to the power of 3. You see, this one is raised to the power of 3 plus 5. Now, let's shift everything to the other side. Then while doing that, we are going to collect like terms at once. So I'm going to write y to the power of 3 and bring this to this side. Okay, so I will have y to the power of 3 then this is plus 5 to the power of 3. I will change it to minus 5 to the power of 3. Okay. Then I have plus y. Then I'll bring this in as minus 5 is equal to 0. Okay. Now recall that a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3 is equal to a minus b multiplied by a squared plus ab plus b squared. Okay. Now in this case, our a is equal to y, while our b is equal to 5. So we are going to substitute this into this value to replace y to the power of 3 minus 5 to the power of 3. So let's go ahead and do that. So what we have is a minus b, that is y minus 5. Then we are going to multiply it by what? a squared, that is y squared, plus ab, that is 5y plus b squared, that is 5 squared, okay? So this is this. Then plus y minus 5 is equal to 0. So we have y minus 5 multiplied by y squared plus 5y plus 25 plus y minus 5 is equal to 0. Now when you look closely, you will notice that y minus 5 is there and y minus 5 is there. And there are they are separated by an operator, meaning that this are different term. This is also a different term. So we are going to factorize y minus 5. So we have y minus 5. When the whole of this is divided by this, we have y squared plus 5y plus 25. Now, when this is divided by this, we have 1. Okay? is equal to zero. If this is the first time you're coming across this channel, please give us a thumbs up and 
turn on your notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime i upload a new video so that you don't miss our amazing videos please don't forget to give us a thumbs up okay please give us a thumbs up if you actually enjoy what we are doing all right so we can now write that y minus five okay multiplied by y squared plus 5y plus 25 then plus this one right and everything is equal to zero okay so we have y minus 5 multiplied by y squared plus 5y plus 26 is equal to zero so since we have something like this we can now write that y minus 5 is equal to zero and y squared plus 5y plus 26 is also equal to 0. Now, we have that y is equal to 5 from here, right? Then from here, because our x is going to, is what? Real. Yes, our x is real. I don't know if I mentioned it earlier. x is real. So, let's see if we can get real root from here or complex. So, we are going to determine that if we can get our discriminant, and discriminant is b squared minus 4ac. Now, what is our b? Our b is coefficient of y, which is 5. So, 5 squared will give us 25. Minus 4 times a times c. Notice that 4 multiplied by 26 is bigger than this. So, when we solve this, we are going to get a number that is less than 1. And once we get that, that means we are going to get complex or imaginary roots. So, that means that this isn't going to work. All right? So, this means that this is the only real root we have. But recall that we are not looking for the value of, we are looking for the value of x. So, recall, recall that our x is equal to what? 2 to the power of x, sorry. 2 to the power of x is equal to y, according to this statement. So, permit me to clean this so that we can solve. Now, we have 2 to the power of x is equal to y. That means we can write 2 to the power of x is equal to what? 5. Okay? All right. Now, the only thing that can save us here is if we can introduce log to both sides of the equation. So, we have log 2 to the power of x is equal to 5. Now, this comes down to give us x log 2 is equal to 5. Sorry. Equal to log 5. Equal to log 5. Okay? All right. Now, divided by log 2 divided by log 2 okay now this is going to divide this and we have x is equal to log 5 divided by log 2 which can be written as okay now this can be written as note that when you have log a divided by log b okay that this is equal to log a base b all right so that means that we can rewrite this as what x is equal to log 5 base 2 and this becomes your answer thank you so much for watching